Well, hello there. This is Wink Ferrand, and welcome to this very special and limited class called the Know Yourself, Grow Yourself Pathway, especially for people who want to discover their true self and land their dream job. So, if that's you, what you're about to learn is very important indeed. In fact, you will never see yourself the same way again, and I promise you, if you use what I show you in this class, you will begin to see what you need to do to change your life for the better. So stick with me. Grab yourself a pen and a paper and do yourself a favor. Turn off Facebook, your email, your phone, or at least set your phone to flight mode and give yourself a chance to really learn something. My name again is Wink Ferrand. I've been a life coach since 1985. I've been doing this a long, long time. And I am a certified John Maxwell speaker, coach, and trainer, and a DISC certified trainer. So, this guy here is not anybody I know. This is just a picture that reminded me of my first boss. Arrogant, mean, grumpy, started the company and hired me right out of college and I needed something to do to make money. When I started working at my first full-time job was also when I began this occupation struggle. I didn't realize that my boss wanted me to be able to read his mind and know what he wanted even before he did. It seemed impossible to make him happy. Well, I was only with that company for a few short weeks, and I was then let go. I was told that eh, things just weren't working out. At that time, there was no notice given and no unemployment. I received my final check the day I was told not to come back, and I was devastated. You see, in college, I was told I had a very bright future and that companies would be lucky to have me. Not that I would get dumped in a couple weeks by an arrogant old boss that treated me like used tissue. What I didn't know then and didn't learn until many, many painful years later and painful jobs later was that I should never have worked for these bosses or companies in the first place. They were incompatible with who I was as a person. Let me say that again. They were incompatible with who I was as a person. I have a hunch that what I'm about to share with you is going to change your life, but I do need to ask, are you open to the truth? I help you discover your true self by revealing your personality, skill set, and influence. You then use this discovery to find a job that matches that. In that job, your satisfaction skyrockets, your performance reviews are stellar, and the job many times becomes a career. Now, would this be helpful for you? Why am I doing this? I'm looking for like-minded individuals who want to no longer go along with the status quo, have the courage to discover their true potential, take responsibility for their success, and finally, I want to add value to your life so that you can make better decisions for your future. This class is not for people who think this must be all too hard. Or if you think of change and seeing things differently and you're afraid to do that. Or if you've begun believing that you no longer have anything to offer, well, I'm sorry. Then what I'm about to share with you is just not for you. I'm looking for people who are willing to make the difference and make the change. Now, there's nothing for sale today, so don't worry about getting halfway to the end and being hit with an offer. But I do have a cool gift for you at the end if you hang around. And that's valued at $497, which will let me answer 
all of your questions for free. Now the results for what I teach are not typical. I don't know you, where you've worked, or how well you can implement what I teach. Most people don't even get around to doing what I teach because they don't have the courage to change. So any results I talk about in this presentation are not typical. It takes effort, persistence, and patience. With any occupation, there is always a chance of things not working out. And I'm in no way promising you that you will just suddenly land your dream job. But for now, I'm assuming that you want to make a change in your life and that you're willing to do the hard work. You're always one decision away from a totally different life. Let me say that again. You are always one decision away from a totally different life. I found that quote on the internet and it didn't have any attribution, so I don't know where it came from. That's why I put unknown, but it's a good one. So what is the Know Yourself, Grow Yourself pathway? Well, first let's talk about this word, pathway. Anyone who decides to take a hike along a very challenging pathway or a beautiful, beautiful view will change their life in some way. Everything you will encounter will affect you and transform you, and you'll be thinking about it days later. The Know Yourself, Grow Yourself pathway is much the same. It's a pathway of self-discovery, your skills, personality, and strengths, so that you can know just who you are and the way you think about yourself will change. This is going to make it much easier for you to start looking at the right job descriptions and the right reviews. Plus, you will be able to put your mind at ease and stop guessing at what you should do next. And you will not be sacrificing who you are just to make money. I hate doing that. Well, let me ask you this. Can you guess what patterns these are? Take a good look at the four, and maybe most of you can say all four. Maybe you can say, oh, I know three of them. Well, let's look again. There's a tiger. There's a Dalmatian dog. There's a giraffe. And there's a zebra. When you know the pattern, you know what to expect as you zoom out, right? So, this man named William Marston, he was a psychologist back in the 50s, 1950s, wrote a paper called The Emotions of the Normal People. Emotions of Normal People, William Molston Marston. And in it, he introduced the concept of DISC. Now, you may have heard of DISC from some of the places you've worked. There are some employment uh, places that will use DISC. Most do not, and a lot of them just think that they don't need to do something like that, which is unfortunate. But what does DISC stand for? Well, it stands for Dominance, Influence, Steadiness, and Compliance. William Marston said in his paper that Everyone on planet Earth falls into one of these four personality profiles. Dominance, influence, steadiness, or compliance. And each one can be known by the personality traits or patterns. So here we've got dominance, here we've got influence, here we have steadiness, here we have compliance, and we know each one by the patterns in their personalities. Mr. Dominance. Now I'm using Mr. and he because of who's in the picture. Women can be dominant too. Uh, the personality profiles are not gender specific. Um, they can be for male or female. But dominance, Mr. Dominance, 
He's decisive. He seeks control of any situation, wants to be in charge. He's very results-oriented, and he's bottom line only. Don't give me all the arguments. Don't give me all the facts. Don't give me anything but the bottom line. That's what I want to know. The interesting thing is this personality profile makes up 3% of the population. Only 3% of the population. But that 3% are the ones that generally will start the companies and be the bosses. That's why you have probably run into this type of boss more often than any other type of boss because they are aggressive and they are out in front and they seek to control. The second one is Mr. Influence. Now again, I'm using the word Mr. only because of the picture. This guy is persuasive, spontaneous, he's friendly, he's gregarious, people love him, he's funny, he's social, talks a lot, and is always in the spotlight. 11% of the population are an influence personality style. 11%. And they're the ones that you find on Instagram and on YouTube that are known as influencers. They have this way of drawing you in and you watch them and you kind of want to be like them because they're cool. Well, then there's this third personality type which is called steadiness. Steadiness is team oriented. They follow through, they are loyal, and they accept everyone. Ms. Steadiness here makes up 69% of the population. Isn't that interesting? A whopping 69% of the population falls into this category. And I am more than... 90% certain that there's a lot of people with this profile because I've run into it. They have a steadiness profile that are working in jobs that require them to be decisive and direct. And they're miserable, especially sales type jobs. 69% of the population, that's a lot of people and a lot of people need jobs and so they'll take a job in a situation that is not suitable for them. And finally there is compliance. The compliance personality type, Ms. Compliance, is analytical. She's a planner. She's accurate to a fault and well organized. You know the number one occupation for compliance? Accounting. And usually when you go to an accounting firm and look around the room, nobody is talking. They're hard at work on whatever it is they're doing. And they are very, very organized. They make up 17% of the population. And they're the ones you find that are working in areas where things need to be dead on accurate. So again, here we have these four, and each of the four personality types has their own work habits and communication styles that make them good at what they do. Now that's important. Each has their own work habits and communication styles. And they need to do that in order to be good at what they do. That's why when any of these are placed in the right matching job, they will be seen as being ideal for that employment. Each of the four personality types must have the right work environment to be at their best. You cannot take a compliance person and put them in a, in a sales room 
with a bunch of really loud influencers that are cracking jokes and on their phones talking to people constantly, they will not be able to do the job. The steadiness person is going to have the same problem. Each personality type must have the right work environment to be at their best. Each of the four personality types must also be matched to the right jobs with the right people. Now I want to talk about what kind of people they are. To perform at their peak, they need to be with the right people. So let's talk about people for a minute. Mr. Dominance and Mr. Influence, those are both outgoing personality types that enjoy personal interaction. Ms. Steadiness and Ms. Compliance, they're both reserved personality types that enjoy little personal interaction in a very quiet environment. Ms. Do Mr. Dominance and, Ms. and Ms. Compliance are both task-oriented. The way they approach their job or project or coming up with any solution, they want it to be based on a system with a series of steps. In fact, if there isn't a system, they'll make a system because they want a template. They want a template to be able to apply to the next project or the next situation where they need to come up with a solution. And they want to have a series of steps to go through. They love policy manuals and they love being able to enforce policy manuals. Mr. Influence and Ms. Steady, Ms. Steadiness are both people-oriented. Their personality types want to approach personal projects and come up with solutions based on interviews and opinions. They're the ones who like to do surveys. They want to talk to people about how they felt about a situation. In fact, that's very important. Influence and steadiness will always ask, how did that feel? Whereas dominance and compliance will always ask, what did you think about that? Two different ways of looking at a problem. We need them both, but if they're in jobs that are at opposites of who they are as people, things will not come out well. So let me paint a hell scenario for you. Let's say you're a steadiness or a compliance personality that has taken a job in sales. It wasn't the job you wanted, but a friend talked you into it because he worked there and said, you could make a lot of money. Just follow the script. And you thought the script was dumb and the product was terrible. It was overpriced, cheaply made, and once a customer called in, you were also told to upsell them with five more products of the same poor quality. You were also put in a room with 25 other people, and it was hot and it was noisy. At times, you couldn't even hear your customer on the phone, and you were making very few sales. So each evening, you went home feeling worse than the day before. And by the fourth week, the call supervisor began warning you to get your numbers up. Now you're not sleeping, and others working around you are talking. You're embarrassed, you're discouraged, and you're not going to have money for rent this month. The truth is, you should never have been working there. That was the wrong job for you. But let's say you're a dominance or influence person. That's your type. And you've taken a job doing paperwork for a title company. Well, you're going to have the same kind of hell. It's just going to be at a different job. Within two weeks, your boss is telling you that you're the worst person they've ever hired for your job. Your accuracy is terrible. You've made several errors that cost the company money and your coworker 
has told you they're tired of covering for you. Again, the brutal fact is you should never, ever have been working there. This chart is showing the strengths and the obstacles of each one of the personality types. If you took your pen and your paper uh, at the beginning, which I suggest you to do, you could write a few of these down. By no means I want you to look at this and try and, try and self-diagnose who you are, but I want you to be able to see that the dominance, influence, steadiness, and compliance personality all have strengths that work very well for very certain jobs. The obstacles, on the other hand, that each personality type have, they're there. That's who they are as a person. But they can work on knowing that they have these obstacles and can work to improve. For example, Mr. Dominance is argumentative, inconsiderate, He's opinionated, he's insensitive. Know any bosses like that? Yeah, a lot of them. Argumentative, inconsiderate, opinionated, and insensitive. Generally, if they've done nothing to work on these obstacles, they have a constant revolving door of employees quitting the job and getting out because they're tired of the struggle. Mr. Influence, on the other hand, is disorganized, distracted, forgetful, and impulsive. He's lost more jobs than you've probably ever had. But it's because he needs to work on getting himself a bit organized and learning simple exercises to help his focus. And he's going to start using a calendar so he's not so forgetful when it comes to meetings. And doing everything on impulse is not a good idea, as you well know. The steady person, and we love the fact that she's a team player, she's stable, she's secure. We love that. But she also doesn't speak her mind and she'll just hold things in. She tends to be skeptical about new ideas and she's fairly passive when it comes to making a decision. In fact, she finds it really hard to make a decision and is often seen as indecisive. Those are things that she needs to work on in order uh, to be more successful. The compliance person, we love their accuracy, we love how organized they are, but they tend to be perfectionists, and perfectionists can drive you crazy. Everything's got to be done exactly. They love doing paperwork, and they're the first ones to scream, you didn't do the paperwork right. They're very legalistic, you didn't follow the rules, you didn't go through the procedures. They're very rigid. And they like to work all by themselves. They're put in charge of a lot of departments. And the reason they get put in charge of a lot of departments is they have done their job so well and so accurately, they easily get promoted. But at the same time, they begin to drive everyone crazy underneath them. And they need to work on some of these obstacles. Now, so which one do you think you are? Truthfully, I haven't given you enough information to know. You need to have a detailed assessment. And you could guess, and you might even come close, but there are so many other variables, you could still miss it. You see, the truth of the matter is that no one is just one or the other. When we do the assessments, we find out that most people are a combination of two, sometimes three of these personality types. And that creates another way of measuring the personality traits. 
Again, whether in combination or by themselves, they all have wonderful, wonderful positives and some really tough obstacles to overcome. Well, we're getting close to the end here. What now? I know I talked to you about a know yourself, grow yourself pathway. Life Coaching Pathways is my company and we have different pathways for executives and mid-level managers and uh, we do employee and employer seminars. This Know Yourself, Grow Yourself pathway was created for people who've been in job hell. They have not been doing well. And so what we're going to do is offer you the pathway. Now, first thing, you've got two choices. You can click away and forget everything I've just told you. Or, well, excuse me, that also means you stay in the job you hate and you keep the life you have. No changes are made. But if you really want things to be different, knowing your true strengths and eventually being in a job you love, I have this gift for you. Now, remember we talked to you about the $497 gift at the beginning. Well, here's the gift. My team and I have set aside some time in the next 48 hours to speak with 15 people only about how you can apply these ideas to your job situation today. Whatever your biggest problem is, we know how to solve it. That's what we've been doing since 1985. This is a 45-minute call. $497 is what we charge for 45 minutes. So you're getting a, a free $497 dollar call and with that call we're going to help you in three ways first we will talk to you about your biggest problems that you're having at your job and secondly we will help you solve some of those problems we're going to, we will make suggestions and uh, some of those suggestions may be a little bit tough for you but we want to help you solve those problems and thirdly, we'll set out a step-by-step -step plan as to how you can move into that long-term career job that you will love. So, who is this for? Well, I'm looking for a person who currently hates their job, company culture, to discover their true personality and skill set leading to the perfect job for them that will give them long-term job satisfaction, the company culture that suits their values, and the possibility of a new career. In as little as eight weeks, if you can believe that. In as little as eight weeks. Now, if you can say yes to all of this, then my team is happy to help you for free during a 45-minute strategy call. Why do we do this? Well, we want to add value to your life. When we get that call, we'll know right at the beginning you're struggling and you need help and we want to add value to your life. We want to help you. If we make a connection and you're absolutely positive that we can help you achieve your goals, we go through the steps, then you may want to apply to go even further. But this is not what this call is for. This call is to help you. But if you want to go further, we can offer you the Know Yourself, Grow Yourself pathway. And you can apply to work with us. We don't take that many in each year, but we take in the ones we know that are going to do the work and make a change. 
if we get to the end of a well if that's the case you want to do it it's a win-win for both of us and that that's great but if we get to the end of the call and you don't want to go that way that, that's fine we we gave you some very valuable information and we can still part as friends now there is a button that's popped up and all this is is an appointment for a call we have a 48 hour window and the call is available for only 15 people so if you'd like to do this and I if you're if you hate your job and you're you don't know what you're going to do and you're having the hardest time and you've been in this thing for a while and it just gets worse you're not sleeping you're not eating you're taking medication you need to call click the button and set up a time and we'll take you and talk to you and walk you through some steps we want your life to change and we want to help you so again click the button there's only a 48 hour window and it's only available for 15 people thank you for being with us on this webinar my name is Wink Ferrand and I hope that you'll do exactly what you need to do to have the outcome to have that truly happy life that you love.